Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video I'm just going to talk about a little bit about um, doing live streams and uh, you know, and just continue from there. But it's on my mind because um, I, I remember I've done live streams before. One of them, you know, was in Dollar Tree Store years ago. I don't know how long ago. And uh, I remember one time I clicked on it and it, and it showed part of my face or something <laughs> I was in a Dollar Tree it was like how do I get out of this but I'm curious if it uh, does what it used to do where they made all these changes um, like you could do a live stream but you could do it as unlisted and then make it into a video you know after that it would be so much easier you know really for me to do that instead of doing videos like this and then I have to go through all that um, you know, to put it on Kind Master and then try to upload it. And today I had a 15 minute video. It was 15 minutes and some seconds. And I had to do it three or four times, redo it to get it to upload. It's unbelievable. It took several hours across the day, you know, because I'm not sitting there waiting. But when I come back, it was still doing, you know, still trying to upload. And wow, <laughs> you know. So making them like that, you know, just doing them like it used to do, okay, would be so much easier, really. But the only thing is it would probably be like a black, you know, black screen or something. I don't know. Maybe black screen is better. I did that 15 minute and something was one that I did that black screen. Um, yeah. I kind of like those better than this. Really. I might change that. But I, that wasn't what I wanted to talk about. Um, <clears throat> how many of us have actually watched videos when they, um, you know, live, the live stream, not while it's live stream, but when it, once it makes into a video, you know, and go back and watch it. And some people, they will talk for hours. <laughs> I mean, hours. Uh, there's one of them, I think she's done it. I don't know, I don't watch her, but I'd heard, and I, and I heard about it. Every blue moon, I'd go over and watch it, but she does them 24 hours or something. Straight video, showing her sleeping and everything. Um, I remember years ago, there was a Jenny or something like that. I mean, I'm talking back in the 90s, I think. Before YouTube, I think. And uh, she had her life online the whole time. You know, live. Pretty much always. And uh, it was, yeah, some guy had shown it to me. I was like, ooh, who would do, who would watch that? <laughs> who would watch somebody's life? I thought it was sick and disgusting, and, you know. But, um, I mean, have, but do you do that? Now, I remember that Dollar Tree one. While I took it in Dollar Tree, it was all clear, and it was like 45 minutes or something. It was real clear, but once it made into a video, it became all fuzzy. And any video that I did like that, that's what happened. It would become real fuzzy. And uh, maybe things have changed since then. I don't know. But a lot of things on YouTube have changed. Which, so far, everything I see is better. Except for the do, the thing of doing um, live streams. So, you know, I mean, what I had checked out, you know, maybe a year ago. I don't know how long ago. Um, it seemed you had to download something and all this. <laughs> it just seemed like a big mess. But, you know. Okay, anyway, I, I probably will do more, like I said, the black with the black screen and instead of doing like this. But I like to get outside of the house every once in a while. And I don't go places really much And uh, since what's going on in the world today. So getting out of the house, just to get out of the house and sit in my SUV, make videos, <laughs> it's, it's such a good break from just being in the house. But anyway, now, you know, if let's go back to this about the watching them. You go back, and when you listen, when you go back and you listen to people, um, you know, their live streams, a whole lot of it is, you know, hey, how you doing? And um, I think one time, I don't remember how many minutes of it, but it was at least the first 10 minutes or so was just that, the, the person doing the video saying hello to everybody, which is polite, yeah. But if you're, you know, you go back and you watch them and you're like, and plus, they never get to the point. I've, I've seen one that went on for like, I don't know how long, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and they were trying to say something about one thing, 
but they kept talking to the people who were chatting, you know, and saying hi's and hello's and all this stuff. And it was so difficult to follow what they were talking about. And they were trying to talk about one particular subject, couldn't get it out. <laughs> So I, I prefer to do my videos where there isn't an audience, you know, typing and chatting right then, but make them longer and, you know, more than one topic. I just, I just made public a video that's 40 minutes. I think that was my longest one that it wasn't that live stream, you know, or it wasn't a live stream. It was just a regular video. And uh, I was telling two stories and listening to the, you know, Okay, go from the live streams when they stretch it all out for hours, when they're just trying to talk about one thing, and, um, or, you know, maybe a couple hours. And then making a video that's 40 minutes when it's straight talking, you know, and no interruptions. I could see, I was listening to it again before I made it public. I had actually downloaded that from a different channel I put it up on, and put it on this channel today. I made it public today. And uh, I couldn't, I couldn't sit there. It was like I did. I sat there and listened, but 40 minutes. <laughs> now I'll go and I'll watch, um, you know, other people's videos. And like I said, some of them are hours, but I do stop it, pause, go and do something else, and you know, whatever. Um, if it's something I want to listen to, then I come back. I don't think I ever just sit there and listen to somebody for one to two hours. No way. Um, but yes, you know, sometimes trying to get what I want to talk about in a short, short video. I used to make really short ones, like three minutes short. And, uh, at first, no, that doesn't cut it <laughs> for me. So it's like, I got to find a, 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 a time limit that works for me, you know, and average, but yeah. Okay. But yeah, you know, sitting there listening for 40 minutes. Mm, no, and also it's like I I was just kept talking. I had it. I had actually had it stop because I had really bad. I have never uh, had that bad of an allergy attack while making a video. And I just said I'm not. I'm going to stop. You know, stopping the video and starting it up again. And um, I could hear it. It was awful. <laughs> I put it up anyway. But. Um, you know, sometimes it's like there needs to be a pause. You know, just a silent, you know, pause. Like that. You know, and when I listen to somebody else's video, you know, every once in a while. And not like the live stream where you can't follow for nothing. It's, it was unbelievable that it was one woman. She does it quite often, too. And she's kind of popular. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why she's popular because that's very annoying if you try to go back and then she doesn't you know uh, she puts in a lot of a whole string of um, ad breaks I mean every few minutes there's an ad break but I, I think it only makes you see so many but if I don't know if it does it anymore where you could see where they had the ad breaks but it did back then and she would have them like every few you know every I don't know how long it allowed her, but she would have a ton of them. It was like really, yeah, people like that. I don't like. I don't like people who are that greedy and they'll say, "Well, it's all about the money." Not everybody's all about the money. Not everybody has a love of money. You know. <laughs> so, but some people, that's how they think. Why? Why would I put up a video if I'm not going to make money off of it? Why would I make? Why would I do this if I'm not going to make money? Now that that's the kind of person I like to avoid, you know. But I mentioned in the video, I think the one I made today, that I do watch someone that I really do not like this woman at all. And I watch her on, uh, you know, when the video, you know, her live streams made video. Usually, I'm not good at doing being there when somebody's doing live streams, and I don't even like to chat. Really, it seems like you know it's weird to me. But, um, I, I don't like her. Her, I mentioned it, she, she gives, throws out a lot of misinformation, disinformation. She throws out things that are totally, just what I just said, but totally false. And she, and, and in it, she will take things 
that people have made, you know, that they, they take something that they saw on the news or something, and they clip it, you know, edit it and all that, and uh, take it out of context, and or just add words from this to that to a string along, and they're, they're fake, they're wrong, they're, they're not, they're not right, I mean, they're not real, and she'll use those as examples of her conspiracy theories, and what she is, she, she says she's not, she, she said, I, I went down that rabbit hole before, and, you know, um, not being a conspiracy theorist, but she is deep, deep, deep into it, and, um, but what she says can be very harmful to people, very harmful, so, yeah, but anyway, I'll, I'll watch her every blue moon, it's, it's kind of like, like I mentioned, I don't keep my head in the sand, and you know, it's just to see what the, what people are being told, what they're hearing, you know, I'm a social and behavioral scientist, so yeah, some, keep putting my head in the sand, <laughs> that's not what I'm going to do, and, uh, but some people like that, and there, there are a lot of people who do live streams like that, that is one of four, um, that, one of four women who, who give out those misinformation, disinformation, and stuff like that, well, I'd say five that I've seen over the years. Okay, some, you know, they, they were, their age ranges were, like, I think mainly younger than I, the th you know, three or four of them, and then one older, but I've seen a lot of these. The, the, some, one of them, I, I watch. I could not understand a word she was saying, <laughs> not a word, not any understanding of what was her purpose, and there was no language barrier. I mean, she spoke English, it just didn't make any sense what she was trying to say. What she was doing all these videos about made no sense at all. So, but then, you know, there are some good, there are some people who do really great live stream videos. Seriously. And one of them, and it, it can go on, it goes on hours, is, <clears throat> I don't usually give shout outs because I don't know if the person would like for me to, the other people, but um, one of them is live, L-I-V-E, on O N patrol P A T R O L. Now you might think it's something like cops or something like that. It's not, not really, no. And it's so interesting to me. It's live streams, and they, I think they usually do it about twice a week. Uh, one is a sheriff, and I'm not sure what the other one does. But um, yeah, a lot of it's just driving, but it's calming. Adam was the one that told me, you know, that is when I showed it to him. He said that's so calming, <laughs> and it is. Oh, it really is. I mean, they they have high speed chases and stuff like that, and they actually pull people over once in a while. But a lot of it is just driving through Saint, you know, Saint Paul, Saint Paul, Minnesota, yeah, or places around there. And it's it's interesting, you know. But they they usually do two. They usually usually do them twice a week, and they usually makes two videos each time they do them. So four videos a week. And they're at for hours because they're out doing patrol, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think that they do really good live stream, and uh, they show it. They show a better side to it, a good side to it all. And uh, but then there's some of some people <laughs> I've seen over the years that uh, you know recently, like I said, that one. But there was this one woman. I got to talk about her. Okay, and I think I've actually mentioned her before, but who knows? It was it was years ago, and uh, it was, she was kind of re uh, recommended to me or something, and um, she did you know did the I know somebody who watches me watches her or watched her back then, like I said years ago, and uh, or somebody who used to watch me back then. Okay, anyway, um. Basically, there's something that was going on with YouTube, okay, at the time. YouTube had changed some, you know, rules or something. It might have been the whole thing. Um, it's, you know, something like when they did the demonetization of small channels. Something, you know, like that kind of thing. Or maybe it was something else. I don't know. But anyway, um, something similar came up in the chat. And I was one that would, I started chatting, you know, every once in a while. And so something had come up similar to it, and I mentioned something, 
and the woman that was doing the live stream, you know, you know, I told her what I put out there, what YouTube had said, and she told me, she said it to me, she says, well, they didn't send me an email, and they didn't contact me personally about it, so it's null and void that it doesn't uh, include me unless they contact me personally. I was like, whoa, whoa, you know, that, and I, I hadn't, I don't think I had been watching her for much, you know, I, I know I'd never watched her much altogether. I was like, well, talk about a high sense of entitlement, thinking she's so way far up there, and she, her channel was like a thousand people, maybe, you know, subscribers or so, but talk about that they have to contact you personally, <laughs> really. No, not really. Not that I know of. Okay. But, but this woman, like many I've seen since then, you know, I, I every once in a while, you know how I recommend stuff and I go and watch, you know, you go and watch it if you like to. I like these days live streams, the ones I like to watch are like the deers, at, de the deer, the deer at the troughs, you know, and, uh, you know, animal, you know, birds and stuff like that, people's gardens and everything. I like to, you know, I watch those for a little while, you know, just, so, you know, watch it and see what's going on. Um, but some of them, like, the, in the, it turns up in the drama community. My goodness. And some of them, they don't even see themselves as drama community. But it's, it's pretty much like that, you'll, you know, some of it is like that high sense of entitlement and really bashing one another back and forth and there's, you know, it's like you can check. I've mentioned this before. Like once every season, it seems like I'll, I'll get in this, you know, this mood or something, and I'll watch them for a short while. And um, the season I'm talking like winter, spring, summer, fall. And then I'll say, uh, you know, it's the same thing. Lather, rinse, repeat. And one of them, I don't think it was a year. <clears throat> and I went back and looked at it <laughs> just for a few minutes. Like, she's still doing the same thing, saying the same words, complaining about, you know, these people are talking bad about her. <clears throat> but that's how they make their money, I guess, you know. And what's bad about it is some of them use any letter word they feel like. You know what I'm talking about, letter words. They don't care. They're calling one another. Yeah, you, you, that's just not right to me. But, anyway... Yeah, I like to sit out here. Like I said, it's good to be out and all that. But I have a nosy neighbor. I am serious. I have a nosy neighbor. And the, the, there, it's a couple, but it's usually him. A little older, you know. And I'm serious. I come out and do this. And if he comes home or whatever, he will sit there and freaking stare at me at first, you know. You see somebody do that, something like that, and this is my view, and I, you know, other people might have other views on it. If you see somebody doing that, you, you might be curious, you know, curious, what are they doing? But the next time, and the next time in over a year now, <laughs> seeing me do this, and he still does that, uh-uh, that's the freaky. Yeah, and then and I have reasons to talk negative about that man anyway, because he, yeah, that that's not, yeah. I'll just leave it there. Now you hear me losing my voice. Can you believe this? I'm serious when I said in that video that I do not lose my voice unless I come outside because of allergies. You know, inside the house, it's just fine. I'm fine. No losing my voice. But, oh, that's irritating. Because, like I said, I like to get outside. And, oh, no, she's out too now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Real life happens in the middle of a video. Yeah. Okay, so let me try to get back to the topic. Now, I mentioned the woman that I really don't like, and I'm going to tell you why. I had, during one of those phases I went through of watching all these other channels, you know, well, she copycats me. Seriously. But I found out I'm not the only one. She will steal people's ideas, and you know I've done videos about that before. But she goes, she goes from one to the other to the other and steals their catchphrases, their you know, what they've been talking about, and she's gotten, you know, deeper into twisting around whatever they're, they're talking about to, you know, make it 
on conspiracy theory and even stole a whole story about my life. Not the whole story, but the whole gist of I did a story about what was going on with me and she took it and made it her own. It was freaky. <laughs> and I'm and so I'm sure she probably still watches. And then her most of her videos about pure projection too. You know, not pure but not total. <clears throat> but she what she's she'll claim other people are doing wrong is what she's doing. Okay. And you know, saying well you in saying things like They'll never learn. You you try to lead them to the, you know, the truth, but they're never going to learn. No, people aren't, not everybody in the world is going to listen to your conspiracy theories and say that's the truth. Research is not searching out conspiracy theorists and what they say and saying that's true because they said it. <laughs> that's what she does. And... Yeah, she does live stream, and there's always just like a handful of people, you know, maybe a little more, you know, of people watching it while live streaming, and the whole bunch, you know, I don't even know, I don't check hers to see, but um, and I have, because I've clicked on it before, instead of watching on TV or something, I've clicked on it and could see how many people had watched it, and, uh, but they don't, I mean, they don't comment, <laughs> I think that some of it is people are watching her because it's like a freak show, in a way. It really is. And um, how somebody can twist the truth, the tr tr you know, the facts. Not, I'm not going to say truth, the facts. To, can twist them in such an odd way. And even reading something, I mean, I, you know, she read something out and I said, well, no, that's not what they mean when they said that. And she, she kept doing that over and over and over. I'm like, uh, wow. Talk about, yeah. Uh, and I had used more than once the things about, you know, people who, stating people who do not connect the dots right. And I have it on more than one channel. So she took that, connect the dots, and she used it as her own. And she said, none of, the, none of them connect the dots right, you know. Oh my goodness, yeah. But anyway, I'm I'm gonna get annoyed if I keep seeing my neighbors do this. But I think that's enough of this video. And I also have a problem when I'm trying to upload videos. Sometimes I'll say, I, you know, I'm gonna run out of space on my cell phone because that's why I do my videos on them is my cell phone. And this color thing has recently come up. See how dull the that shrub in front of me looks, but the shrub itself is green. I don't know why it's making them a dull gray and all messed up. Don't know why. So, like I said, did you just see that too? <laughs> I don't know why I did that either. But anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and wrap this up. It was good to get outside and just uh, talk about stuff like this. But, you know, like I said, there's some good people. And find good people. That's what I'm looking for. Good people or something interesting. Watching those deer is very interesting to me. I saw one time, I actually saw the guy who is the, oh, what is it? What's the name of that? You know, the one who, oh, not, kind of like a forest ranger or not, so, but that's not the word for it. But, but anyway. I actually saw him feeding them. How he puts f feed goes through there. And there was a lot of snow and everything, you know, um, and how he does it. And it was neat to watch that. <laughs> I'm serious. It's neat to watch. And uh, and that one, I think they have like four different view views. I mean, you know, way that they have it's always live stream. You know, pretty much always. And they have four different angles. You know. Uh, so the four different cameras, four different live streams, or something like that, and uh, those are fun to watch to me. <laughs> I'm serious. I think it's because of what's been going on in the world today, and I've been more home. That it's good to see things like that, you know, and like the um, you know sheriff, the driving and you know talking and everything. They're around my age, both of them, and uh, it's good to see people driving around. What's going on in the world, you know? Because yeah. If, you're, if you've been like me, staying at home mo most of the time, you know, I've had a good out a few times, especially recently. But, um, maybe you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, it's fun to watch. You get to see things, you know. 
instead of just just your home inside your home or out right outside of it but anyway like i said i'm going to wrap this up i'll talk to you on another video bye